Vets have read it. What was the worst pet name you have ever encountered in your job? Envelope. So I'm not a vet, but I'm deeply involved in the horse world. There is a year discipline year called halter, and many of the horses are genetic atrocities to begin with. They you have been bred to the point of uselessness. When naming quarter horses, many breeders like to create a registered name that incorporates the parents your names and bloodlines. So, somebody bred together the stallion Kijers classic style and the mare look in your tushable. The best name that the breeders could come up with for the foal? Kids look in tushable. Yeah, that yours the best they could come up with. Sexy, for a chihuahua. Just made the whole consultation very awkward. Not a vet, but I lived in the Marshall Islands for a few years and I noticed that all black male dogs are named Le Kilimage Black Boy, all white male dogs are named Lamau Judge White Boy, all brown male dogs are Labiron Brown Boy, and all black and white dogs are named Aurea. One of my boys wanted to name one of our dogs Mead Stack. My son was 6 when we adopted the puppy. Same kid wanted to name his brother Turtle Flower when he was born. Needless to say he is not in charge of naming things in our household. Old neighbor lady had a cat named Jurfacia. Asterisk B-E-C-A-U-S-E it had a beautiful face, she said. My brother-in-law named his cat Salad. Mom owns a vet practice so had a lot of these. Best slash worst pet parents named their cat D-O-G and their dog C-80. James Bond was my favorite doggy, Pekinis. He was hilarious. There were so many mittens, fluffers, spots and buddies they got, lost in the sea of animals. Worst story was a rescued golden retriever who was so malnourished they nicknamed him Pancake. Sadly, Pancake's kidneys were done, so he dies two days after he was rescued by the local animal control. The two days I got to feed and spend time with him made it all the harder to realize he could have been saved if his family had let him go instead of leaving him chained up in the yard before they left. I hate people a lot of the time. Edit. Thanks for all the love friends. I still have a picture of him on my phone. Won't forget him like his owners did. Klutzy. My cat your's name is Soup. The vet jokes we ought to start calling him Stew if he keeps getting wet food since he is a little chunky. Edit. Cat tax. HTTPS slash slash www.redit.com slash r slash what's wrong with the orchid slash comment slash key rate of slash soups underscore sleep underscore spot underscore of underscore the underscore week underscore is underscore the underscore couch underscore crack slash utm underscore s o u r c equals s h a r e and utm underscore m e d i u m equals i o s underscore a p p and utm underscore n a m e equals i o s s m f my first pet that I can remember getting was a fish when I was about 3 or 4 years old. I named him Clock because I happened to be looking at a clock when my mom asked what I wanted to name him. My old neighbors apparently thought it would be a good idea to let their 3 year old name their dog. The dog was named Dump Truck. Raccoon. Our daughter was 3 when she named the all black cat. I still have no idea why she named him that. He does appear a bit chunky like a well-fed raccoon now. In the south, I was in a waiting room with someone who brought their chicken named Ticker. Like Chicken Ticker. Deleted. Not a vet, but I took in a cat from a family named Lord Wimsalet III. Yes, there were previous Lord Wimsalets. We nicknamed him Wimmy. Deleted. When I adopted my two cars from the shelter, the staff had named them after internet browsers and search engines. I got Google and Explorer. Another couple got Firefox and Bing. Mine were promptly renamed. My grandmother's jet black and incredibly angry cat was called Rainbow. Edit. I'm not a vet either. XGF was a vet nurse. She came across a cat in the system called Horatio Bradshaw Roadwork. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Don't be a shit lord. I'm just being polite. Not a vet, but an owner. When my German shepherd goes in, I tell them he responds to dog. His actual name is Dant, and he comes running when anyone even breathes it. 
but if I all I want to do is get him to look over to me or to stop whatever he is doing, I just say dog. Also, he gets very very excited whenever anyone tells him he has fat but diseaseer, the office. He pushes you around with his big, but asking for scratches. Vet's office staff seemed very pleased with this information. You will keep calling his name, but he does not get excited at all. You will just tell him he has fat, but disease point you. Vet tech here. Worst one was hands down Tubgerol 96. It was a name given to a sweet, young adult female cat. The owners thought they were funny. I used to volunteer, not as a vet, at an animal shelter. We had to give all the stray cats slash dogs that came in names, four in the database. They had to be unique, because sometimes you had to do a search and you can't have the name Simba popping up 1000 times, it happened. So one time we had two dogs that came in together, and they named them, Salah and me, Salami. It was just for during their stay, the owner was free to change the names. So not that bad and my Kawaka was very creative. My cat's name in John Hinckley Jr. because he was a stray that stalked me for a year and killed things to give me as offerings. Obligatory yearn at a vet year disclaimer, but story at a vet years. My roommate had a dog called Tiquito, and we once had to go to the emergency vet at night because it was having trouble breathing. The dog goes in with the vet and maybe half an hour later a vet year's assistant comes out, goes straight for the Latino looking couple at the other end of the waiting room, and just asks the mute Quito, yo they were looking so confused and slightly offended, especially since the assistant kept repeating it, when they didn't hear to answer. My rumored was slow on the uptake with it being the middle of the night and just being frozen on the spot by the awkwardness of the moment, but she finally spoke up, and said yo Quito is my dog year. No one looked at each other for the remaining time we were there. Edit, thank you for the awards, and for sharing your similar stories. It makes up a little for still cringing about that moment 10 years later. Edit 2, a bit more info about the Quito. He was a rescue and my room had just kept his name, because I guess it just fit. He was fine on that night, just a case of kennel cough that went away on its own. He went on to live a full life of being the worst dog ever, and passed away of old age. My dad has always wanted a dog named Yuraska Muir so when someone asks what your dogger's name is you can just say Yuraska Muir. Edit, thanks for the free awards. My cat's name is Shu. My friend's aunt has a cat named Titus. Not a vet, but my roommate's cat is named Feline Dunn. I wanted to call her Chairman Meow. I ended up calling a stray in the neighborhood chairman meow instead, and the personality matches. Edit, here's feline Diane, https, slash slash unga.com slash gallery slash 5ucg5t2. I'll try to get pictures of chairman meow later, but he's very skittish and afraid of humans. We've been feeding him a year, and he still won't come near us. Edit 2, I got a shitty picture of Chairman Meow, https, slash slash unga.com slash gallery slash psumkage, he's the dumbest cat I've ever met, but very cute. Nav, cat is named Tuna Fish Jones, sometimes called Toonses, or Fatness, short for Fatness Neverclean. Not a vet, I know, sorry. My dad adopted a stray cat who wandered into his yard once. The first time he saw the cat, not much past kitten stage, his response was, what a little shit. Little shit became the cat's name on the vet paperwork. The sad part was, that she got her leg caught in a door once, and ended up having it amputated. Which led to a really awkward conversation in grade school, before I was old enough to know better, when I told my teacher, that my dad has a cat with three legs, and her name is little shit. I'm a vet. Senior year in vet school, all the students meet in the morning to review what's coming for their service that day, surgery, internal medicine, onco, etc, and pick cases. On the roster one day was a dog named Denai backslash asterisk backslash asterisk ER. This was rural Washington in the 90s, so not the most enlightened place or time. 
we had one black student in our class, a smart and fiery woman. After some gasps from the students, she claimed the case and set about to read up on it. The people and the poor dog showed up, and the student went in to get the history. I can only imagine the looks on the owner's faces. The student said the exchange went something like this. Vet student, hi, I'm future Dr. X, I'll be working with you today. I see your dog is named Denai backslash asterisk backslash asterisk yeah. For today, let's just go with asterisk l-u-c-k-y asterisk. I can't recall how the rest of the case went, but this was a proud moment for our class. I'm not a vet but this is somewhat related. One of our dogs is a pug. We got him a long time ago from a bad home. My wife and I kind of waited around too long to give him a proper name, so now we still just call him Pug or the Pug. I'm a little embarrassed when I take him to the vet and they ask his name and it's just Pug. Slash. My aunt has a three-legged dog named Eileen. I think it's brilliant though. Kitty. Now you may be wondering why that's a bad name. Kitty was an iguana. Edit, should add I met this iguana when I was taking my dog to the vet. I'm not a vet. I not a vet, sorry, but I worked in a dog kennel for 12 years. Worst names were a pair of Labradors, one white blonde and one black. Their names. Cracker and Taba B. The owners were the most trailer trash redneck hicks you could ever imagine. Not a vet, but I knew someone who had a cat named Sifa, which sounded fine to a child's ears. I later found out it was actually called C4. C4 cat. I, I rolled so hard when I found out 